After nearly a year of planning and practice, the Lakeville South Marching Band is in Ireland tonight. I got a chance to catch up with some of the students and directors of the Marching Cougars after a once in a lifetime performance in Dublin. When we were lining up to get ready to step off, everyone was like, this is crazy, like this is real, this is happening. While the Lakeville South Marching Band is used to playing for thousands around Minnesota each summer, this St. Patrick's Day they performed in front of more than half a million. You have people packed on the sidewalks. You have people on the roofs of every building. You have people hanging out all the windows. You have people on top of bus stops. It makes me get like really excited. I love to perform. I love to not necessarily show off, but show my skills. One of the cornerstones of this band is interacting with the crowd and to see all those little kids with their, their hands out for a high five, breaking the barrier just to touch hands is uh, a pretty awesome feeling to have. Since arriving in Ireland Friday, the 100 band members also experienced Kilkenny, where they marched in a parade and had a standstill performance outside a castle. Did you get rained on during the parade? Not today, but <laughs> yesterday we did. And tomorrow we will again. Yeah. <laughs> the opportunity to connect to the world around them isn't lost on these students. Me and the other drum majors like going to pet dogs on the street and chatting with people and they were all just really kind and really welcoming. The surreal feeling of just like both the impact that this trip has on our lives individually and as a person through the experiences and relationships that we're building and the impact that we get to have on everyone around us and the many, many people that get to attend and experience our music. Monday, the Lakeville South Marching Cougars will compete in an international band competition in Limerick. After that, they'll enjoy several days of sightseeing, including dinner in a castle, before leaving Ireland on Friday.